You know, about a week ago, I heard a message that's been rumbling around in my heart. Do you have any rumbling around in your heart? Those are the kinds of thing God, the things God wants you to be meditating, thinking about. Anyway, this message was from a woman named Tamara Lowe. She's the uh, person who started Kingdom Builders Academy, which has been helpful to me. But what she was speaking on was uh, Ephesians 3.20, on how God is able to do immeasurably more than we could ask or imagine. And she was describing the importance of our imagination in our prayer, that often what God wants us to do is imagine our lives, the things in the future that we believe he would want to answer if we came to him in prayer, that that imagination builds our faith. So here's what I've been thinking. This is in relation to the importance actually of even what I do. I help you or I help people to get clear with who to get clear with who you are and your identity, who you are that God's made you to be, your sense of direction and function and power so that when you have that sense of who you are and what it means to be responsible and to move ahead in his call in your life from that place now imagine what he actually wants to do with you, what he actually wants to do to make you impactful, who he wants to impact through you, what kinds of things he wants to do, what kind of lifestyle he may have for you. So as you free yourself to imagine those things with him, then you're able to, as James says, to ask. You know, he says, you, you you often don't have because you don't ask a God. And when you don't, and even when you do ask, it's for other stuff. But when you are imagining with God, and now you ask him with faith, now that's going to improve and deepen your prayer life and move into power and authority. And from that space, you're going to exercise your faith by moving ahead with action. So imagination that's based on who you are and what God wants to do. That imagination fuels your asking, your prayer life, which releases power and authority in your life to act. Faith and action produces power and results on the earth. I was just thinking those things this week. Maybe you too can imagine, ask, move in faith, power, and action. Have a great week. Bye-bye.